this for 15 minutes. And it is nice and cool for your bone. You'll feel it won't, it won't feel as hot. And cleaned up any mess that may have spooch. Like I say, it depends on the freshness of your egg whites. Um, keep in mind, this recipe is made for at least a six quart mixer. And this is a five quart and sometimes you can squeeze it in, but it's really made for like a six quart. So if you have anything less than a five quart, half this recipe and do it separately. All right, so from this point, we're gonna start adding our butter in small amounts. Now, what's gonna happen is this is gonna deflate. And when you see it deflate, no, you have not messed up. That's what it's gonna do. Keep going until you incorporate all the butter. All right, so here we go. Oh, so also you wanna do this at a very low speed. You do not wanna do this at a high speed at all. I know you can't really see it, but it has deflated. And from here, 
you want to start cutting your speed back up because you want to incorporate that butter and get it to combine with that meringue. So gently, gently start increasing the speed. a little bit you can start to see it has made buttercream nice soft velvety rich buttercream think about american buttercream i mean sorry swiss buttercream is not as much sugar as american buttercream i know when you go like walmart or Kroger, you get those cupcakes and they're very very sugary and the buttercream is made with a lot of powdered sugar this is a little bit more pleasant because it's not made with a lot of sugar Plus, the sugar is cooked, so it's concentrated a little bit more to give it full sweetness, but not overly, barely sweet. So, that is why I like this. So, from here, I'm sorry, that's where you're going to add that tablespoon of vanilla extract. I got rid of my measuring spoon, so I'm just going to eyeball it because I've made it several times. Get up some of that meringue on our beater. I'm just going to whip this in until it's incorporated. All right. There you have it. You have Swiss meringue buttercream. It's so good, y'all. If you've had one, of, if you're local to uh, in Mississippi and Oxford, where I'm located, um, I've sold a lot of cakes. So if you've had my cake, then you know what my buttercream tastes like. For your, for those of you who have it, um, feel free to try the recipe on your next cake. I know it's a little bit time consuming, but the end result is well worth it. Now, from here, you can do a lot with this buttercream. You can add one eight ounce packet of cream cheese and make cream cheese buttercream. But be sure if you do that to add another quarter cup of softened butter because what will happen is when you add that cream cheese, it kind of will separate a lot of moisture and that cream cheese will separate the butter and the buttercream. So you gotta, gotta add a little bit more butter, maybe a, a quarter cup, maybe a half cup, two sticks of um, butter to regather it. So um, it'll be what you're looking for. From here, you can add chocolate, you can add caramel, you can add strawberry, you can add lemon. This is basically a base vanilla buttercream that you can take and make it your own. So, thanks for watching my channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and let me know what you want to see on the next show. <coughs> Probably on my next segment, you're going to see me flavor and do some things with this buttercream that I've made with a cake. And so... Be on the lookout for that. Have a good night. Thank you.